when I heard about Lydia Fair, I thought I'd submit um, my art, my my ability. I was uh, a two-way star in um, high school football. I played defensive back and wide receiver. And you know, I spliced together a lot of nice footage of some great plays of mine. And uh, I just wanted to share it with everyone. And you know, when I submitted to Lydia Fair the first year, it got rejected right away. And I didn't understand, so I, you know, I tried to splice together some better footage. Football is an art form. When you watch the receiver with the gentle curve of his wrist as um, he catches the ball, there's nothing that you know, like, you know, brings tears to my eyes. It's all in concert together. It has to be looked upon as an ensemble piece. And if the creators of Lydia Fair had any doubt about the art form that football is, all I have to do is point them to some of my touchdown dances that's on my highlight reels. I can give you an example. It was my favorite video game growing up. Like I played it all the time when I was in elementary and middle school. And like I wasted so many quarters at the arcade playing it. And I had all the Nintendo versions. And so it was always one of my one of my dreams to someday own the arcade version for my house and just to become the best player. So I scoured eBay and I found uh, I found Double Dragon for an unbelievable price. Drove halfway across the country, picked it up and brought it back and have been practicing ever since. A local church around here, the Cambridge Vineyard, had uh, this, this thing called Lydia Fair for people to express themselves through different art forms. And so I thought, here's my chance to, to show some video game artistry. It allows you to express yourself, all the different moves you can do in Double Dragon. I mean, punch, kick, jump, kick, elbow, headbutt, super cyclone spin kick, it's all there. Punch, kick, jump, kick, elbow, head, butt, super cyclone, spin kick, it's all there. Punch, kick, jump, kick, elbow, head, butt, super cyclone, spin kick, it's all there. I don't know if it, uh, if it was just the genre of video art, of video game arts, or whether it was just because I, you know, had to use one continue to beat the game. But so I'll, I'll practice hard. Maybe I'll apply again next year. A carnival artist is someone who expresses themselves with meat, as uh, Picasso used paints. We uh, instead use animal parts to express ourselves. This can take many forms. Uh, some people like the two-dimensional meat arts. Uh, we really prefer the sculpting to make something beautiful in three dimensions. And you know, we feel like we can reach out to people with this, that, uh, especially to vegetarians, reach through to them and kind of show them that, that meat can be beautiful. We've been in so many competitions nationwide. Like we were in Texas, we were in Oklahoma, right? We won Oklahoma a lot. State Fair. Right, right, the Oklahoma State Fair. But uh, see, ever since moving to this area here, it's been kind of tough because you don't have a lot of carnival artists in the area and it's not a generally accepted form of art here. We learned this the hard way. I don't know if you remember our first time that we moved into the area. We thought a good uh, venue for us was um, you know, through the media thing. And so we, uh, we put together one of our finest work at the time. You know, a lot of, it was very diverse. I mean, we had pig, you know, cow, chicken. I think we had deer in there too. It was, uh, it was a lot of work. And uh, we, we turned this in, we submitted this. We were very confident. I mean, this was the work that won us the uh, competition in uh, Oklahoma. But um, we got rejected then we tried again after that, we got rejected again. But um, I feel like this year we have the missing ingredient, would you say? Yeah, I feel like maybe, salami. right, right. Because it was missing that before. We never had salami in the, in the piece before. This is gonna wow the judges. That's all I have to say, I mean. We're excited. Uh, we're very excited, excited about it. it. Oh, hello. As you can see, I like to stay up on, on the arts. Um, that's because that's the group that I lead. Um, it's called Men Against Lydia Fair Exclusivity, or MOUTH. Um, but we had to actually put Lydia and Fair together to make one word. So then it's male, and then it, it makes more sense. Um, I, what I do is I try and um, 
heal the wounds um, that were inflicted by Lydia Fair on many of the, the men that seem to stream to my group after they get rejected one after another. At Mail, we, we have an elaborate screening process, um, an intake process. Uh, we want to make sure people are ready um, for dealing with their Lydia Fair rejection. Yeah, so uh, basically, I mean, it's been really tough. It's been really tough handling the rejection now. As a carnivore artist, you know, you put a lot of work into your swim and it's not appreciated, you know, with all the, all the work that has to go into mixing all these techniques together, you know. It's, and, uh, um, it's tough. How, how did that make you feel? Well, like I said a couple of seconds ago, I mean, I feel pretty rejected. Yeah, that's, that's how I feel. I understand. One of the things we like to do here at Mail is um, establish trust with one another. Um, I have many tools in my repertoire for doing that. And let me show you one of my favorites. This is called the Trust Fall. Brad, are you ready? Ready. Okay. Ready to fall. Fall away. As you can see, trust is very important here. Now I'll do it, now I'll do it on Brad. So Brad turns around. Ready? Yep. All right, I'm falling. Okay, it reminds me of something else. This is the part that, that I like the most, the interacting with people. Because um, it's really, it's people, oh, excuse me. No, I said when I knock on the door. So, I'm, I'm sorry, where was I? It's, it's the people that make mail work. Oh, there's someone now. TT, come in. Come on. Oh, it's so good to see you. I wrote an ode to my my Palm Pilot phone camera combination. It was you know several pages long and you know almost epic poetry, frankly. I don't think I can ever write again. It's just like why bother? <laughs> Thank you, TT. <laughs> that speaks here. Right here. Doug, Doug, tell us. Tell us, why are you here? Um, my name is Doug, and I'm an alcoholic. Do we even know who we are? Give me that. Just give me that. All right. Right, guys, we're just gonna take a break now. You're done. Come on. Come on. All the sprite too. Come on. Take it. Take it. Who let him in here anyway? Some people think I'm crazy for doing this, inviting a bunch of dirty, smelly men to my house to trash it, but. I do it because I know I'm making a difference in these guys' lives. Come Lydia Fair or no Lydia Fair, I know these guys are going to be okay. Lydia Fair is unfair! Lydia Fair is unfair! Lydia Fair is unfair! As a member of the pastoral staff, what do you have to say about this? No comments. No comments. this Yeah. 